Hey guys, it's Mark with Spagaver Backpacking. I am taking you out in the woods with me today because inside of this pack on my back, I've got a whole mess of gear that's going to be raffled off. I think you want to stick with me so that you see what this stuff is and see what you could be walking away with if you get into this raffle. All right guys, let's go check it out. Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagaver Backpacking, and I've got something a little bit different for you today. Behind me is a complete setup. So this setup comes from Jason Flowers at Walhalla Hammock and Outdoors. Great dude. On his free time, he likes to play around building uh, just about everything that there is to do with hammock camping. He does tarps, he does under quilts, he does top quilts, he does hammocks, he does suspension. You name it, he does it. He does custom work, he does pillows. Uh, and I have one of just about everything that he makes right here behind me. So first thing you see right off the bat is this enormous tarp. This thing is a Silpoly 1.1 four season tarp with doors. Uh, it's got the, the taped ridge line with the, the grow grain taped ridge line. Uh, it has pullouts all over it. It's got the, the four normal corner pullouts. It's got two side pullouts on each side. It's got the doors with pullouts on those. Um, just a, a beautiful tarp. I like the combination, the color combination of all of this, of these, this gray with the blue really, really pops it off. He's got the, the blue stitching, uh, which looks pretty good. And then the reinforcements, which are made out of the, it has the blue reinforcement, um, the blue Grogane on all of it really, really sets it off nice. He's got all kinds of great stuff here. So why am I talking about this today? Why did I bring this out here? Is this mine? No, this isn't mine. This could be some lucky winners. So Jason, if you go to his website or you go to his Facebook account or his Walhalla Hammock and Outdoors, you'll see all of the details of this. And I'm going to put all the details down below so you guys can go check out what the materials are, what the widths are, what the lengths are, all the dimensions. Uh, and we're going to take a good look at all of this stuff. But Jason's wife has been dealing with some serious medical issues over the last couple of years. And it's resulted in numerous, numerous surgeries. And from those surgeries, uh, several of them have resulted in infections. And medical bills just keep racking up. And even with insurance, uh, their, their out of pocket has been up over $40,000. So guys, if you could help me out. I'm trying to make sure that people see this, see what kind of awesome stuff they could get. I mean, this is your chance to spend, listen, $10 for a raffle ticket, three raffle tickets for 20 bucks. You can see how to do that on his, his Facebook. I've got it down below as well for a very, very, very low price of entry for a raffle ticket. You could get yourself into a entire kit that's going to get you down into the thirties. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay guys, so I'm out here in the woods. I've got this thing set up so I can show you. <laughs> and there is, there are a number of storms popping up in the area. Thunder's rumbling. You guys will probably hear it on, on here. Uh, but I'm gonna keep going. If I have to, I'll close the doors, hole up in here. But you can see just how wide this thing is. I mean, I've got my arms fully spread out and I can, I'm not anywhere near the bottom, but I mean, midway up, I can get my arms completely stretched out without touching both sides. This is a huge, huge tarp. 
It is Sil Poly 1.1, so that keeps the weight down quite a bit, and it doesn't stretch like the Sil Nylon. So once you get it staked out and set, it's ready to go. And talking about the stakes, so he has guy lines on everything on here. You've got titanium shepherd hook stakes that go with it. He's got stakes for every single tie out point on this thing that come with it. I mean, you are getting a complete setup. The suspension on here for the tarp is, it's the gray zingit with the Dutch tarp flies. Um, just everything you could ask for is here and the size of it. Let me bring you guys in here so you can see. This is a wide hammock that's in here, and I want you to see just how wide it is. It's pulled out. So here, guys, you can see. I have the hammock itself staked out, and you can see both sides are pulled out, and it isn't anywhere near the edges of this. Even if I climb inside of here and lay down, I am nowhere near the edges of this. Now, you can stake it higher. You can stake it tighter. You could go into a porch mode and have a huge, huge porch mode. Uh, absolutely a ton of area to cook under it if you needed to do that but this thing is just it's incredible how big it is so here's the suspension i was talking about he's got the dutch flies on there the zing it and it comes to these rings uh, for the pullouts it's got the grow gain all the stitching looks really nice uh, you know i've got the doors pulled back right now but it does have pullouts you, know, you can see the reinforcements down on the, the corners. Uh, very nicely done. I've got it just kind of knotted onto here, but it comes down to the shepherd's hooks. Uh, it has pullouts, as you can see, uh, two on each side. And they really do, when you pull those out, it really helps to extend the inside. If you haven't seen uh, me do that before, you know it pulls this out quite a bit more right here i mean you can see on the inside where these are at and it'll pull it out a good foot to a foot and a half further on each side i mean you can see here uh, if you look down the edge how far it is from the the hammock there but when you pull it back i mean it really opens this up and you have a huge huge area if we come down to the other side of the tarp up against the suspension coming off of the ridge line you can see that jason has pretty much thought of everything with this and made sure everyone's covered completely he has a one piece no see a mesh snake skin now this one's kind of different and i kind of think it's cool it doesn't have any elastic or a drawstring at the end he has grow gained the end so that it is one piece and it's not a very big hole but because this sil poly does pack down pretty small it does all make it into there and i will show you guys that it does Okay guys, so I have pulled the stakes out of this tarp and I'm down here on the end with the snakeskin. I'm going to show you guys just how to put it back in. Pretty darn easy. Right now I'm just positioning it to where I want it so that I can start going down through and just pull it over. Now as you get to places that have the pullouts and stuff, you may have to pull it over them. Just slightly, but nothing hard about it at all. You may get a little pocket with some air. Just as long as you don't get the hammock suspension caught up in it, you'll be okay. As you get down to the end, you'll probably have some lines hanging out like I do here. And that's okay. Just tuck them up in there. And now you have your tarp slung up. So I like to do this in camp. I like to put it up have it up here so it's just over ready to deploy at a moment's notice just pull it back and it's ready to go uh, but getting it in and out i thought it was going to be tough given the the diameter of it but really because that sill poly i mean if you grab any spot in here right here is about i'd say right here's the thickest spot i can find and i can get that down really really small uh, so it does still slide over it very nicely works Pretty well I'm, I'm kind of impressed okay now that i've got the tarp down you can see the under quilt that that's on here now this is a climb shield 30 degree under quilt full length the thing is is pretty big uh, given that this is a wide body hammock it does take a little bit bigger under quilt and so that's what jason has made for this one and it works really well it has 
drawstrings at the end to cinch it up. It has pulley system uh, to center it. It has not only hooks on the hammock body to connect it to, but there are also quilt hooks on the quilt so you can attach it to Grogain loops if it's positioned out of, out of place for you, uh, just to keep it in position. Because it is so big, that does give it a little bit of extra flexibility there, which is pretty cool. Uh, the thing has a ton of loft. It's just excellently done. Blue on the outside, gray on the inside. Uh, very nice, feels very warm. M to match that, if we look inside, there is a 30 degree top quilt. So this top quilt has a snap that will go behind your neck. It has a cinch to go down around your neck. The foot box is a sewn foot box, which is, which is great for those colder nights. But then one of the really cool things about this foot box, you know, it's sewn uh, a good foot and a half down. But on the inside, you have this little pocket. Now what this pocket is here for is to put a toe warmer inside of at night. So this can really get you down probably below 30 once you shove that in there. Uh, really does help to keep your feet warm because that's what a lot of people, myself included, have trouble with is your feet getting cold at night. So Jason's come up with a great under quilt, top quilt combo, both in 30 degrees. Now, it is 90 degrees out here today. I'm dripping sweat. I definitely don't need this, and I don't want to get in here with these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off, lay them down, show you guys some of the details on them. Then we'll get to the hammock. Before we actually get into the hammock, there's one more piece that I wanted to uh, point out, and that is a pillow. Uh, I love a nice, soft, cushy pillow, and this one's nice and soft. The last one that I had from, from uh, Walhalla Gear that I gave away in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway was a little bit more filled than this one. And I, I couldn't sleep with it because it didn't compress down very much. My son, however, loved it. So this one is a little bit in between the two of those, uh, but it's a good size, fits nicely behind your head. I like a pillow that doesn't have the string on it. I know some people like to have the string so it, doesn't, it stays up and doesn't slide down. Uh, I like to be able to move with my pillow. I like this pillow. This is a pretty nice pillow. And um, it goes along with this set. Matches the under quilt and the top quilt. So another cool piece. All right guys, behind me are the under quilt, top quilt, and the pillows. Now I forgot to mention that there's actually two pillows included in this raffle. And one was the one that I was showing you that was a little bit bigger, but then there's one uh, that I found down in the bottom of the pack. So this one's about the size that I normally normally use. Um, this one to me is the perfect one. Uh, you've got this one which actually is pretty nice, but I think this one would be absolutely perfect. So let's take a look. Here is the top quilt. Now when I open this up, let's uh, unsnap this. So it's got a double snap here. Hard to do that, but hard to do that on the camera. Double snap, and you can open this up and see it is a pretty large top quilt. Uh, there's the sewn foot box. You can see it's sewn this entire length here, and it has an enclosed foot box, which is really nice. Um, insulated, insulated all the way around. Nicely done piece of, of gear. Uh, the seams all seem to be very nice and hidden. Now, the one thing I will say about the under quilt is I actually had it on the hammock wrong yesterday. Uh, I had it inside out. So this is actually the outside so that it blends in with the hammock a little bit better. And the reason that Jason does this with the dual colors is so that you don't accidentally sit just in the under quilt. So if this is the outside and this is the inside, your hammock would be here and if your hammock gets pulled to the side and you go to sit down, you'd notice that it's blue instead of the gray of the, uh, of the hammock itself. So you can see down here, we have the sewn seam uh, with the channel for the pulls on the end uh, to cinch up the ends. 
in order to seal it off so that you don't get any air gaps. And that is on both sides. You can see one side is gray, one side is blue. And so once you get it figured out which one is your head end and which end is your foot end, uh, it also has different colored quilt hooks. So you've got this one here and you've got a white one on this end in order to, to show you the differences. Uh, all in all, very nice gear. All right guys, now as I have said already, this is a wide bodied hammock. It is the 1.7 Robic XL. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see from this video screen, but I am pretty diagonal in this thing. And I am laying flatter than I ever have in any hammock. This thing just gives the flattest lay. I mean, I'm, I'm barely anything but flat in this thing. And you can move around. I've, I've tried, I've tried different positions and just because of the amount of fabric and the way that it, it gives and bends, I have not been able to create a calf ridge at all. You can see some buckled up fabric here, but it just, it's soft underneath me and it never creates anything that I would consider a calf ridge. I mean, the only place it's even pulled up at all right now, it's actually behind my knee, which is like the perfect place for there to be some sort of support. Um, you hear the thunder, the thunder's rolling in again. Uh, but this thing comes with, it's got this mesh organizer up here. Uh, it's attached to the continue, or the fixed ridge line. Uh, it's got the mesh. Now this isn't quite the Noceum mesh. It's a little bit heavier duty than that. But this thing is differential cut. Now it's perfect for me because it is head right, foot left, which is the way that I lay. So if you lay the other way, this one unfortunately isn't going to suit you completely. You'll have to learn to lay this way, which uh, is great. This is the way you should lay anyway. <laughs> I know plenty of people out there will disagree. But this thing is, uh, is nice. It has zippers on both sides. I've got the zippers somewhere over here. Because this one does have the rolled zipper, it is kind of like the Dream Hammocks one where you kind of have it open a little bit and then you can just kind of grab it and pull it open and it separates all the way for you. And then you can get in and out really easily. Um, lots of great features on this. It's got the, the pullouts on the, the elastic cord there. Um, all of this stuff is reflective so that at night when you're getting in and out of the hammock, you can see it very easily pick it up. Same with all of the lines on the tarp. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at this, but I just wanted you guys to know this thing is pretty awesome as far as laying in it, getting comfortable, finding that sweet spot. I don't know if it's because it's that much bigger than everything I've laid in, but it seems the sweet spot is harder to miss. It's like it's a bigger sweet spot, so it's easy to hit every time. I mean, just lay down. I mean, I can move around a little bit, and I still can get myself pretty flat. You know, you get back, you know, I'm even more, more diagonal now. It feels pretty good, but then all you have to do is make one little adjustment and I'm like, oh, there, there we go. That's the, that's the spot. Um, pretty impressed. Now, as far as the suspension for the hammock, Jason makes all of this himself as well. And so we have the polyester. He's got the straps, the tree straps. And you can see he's got them stitched up pretty nicely. Then they come up to a sewn-in Dutch clip. So that's, that's a really nice feature. Makes it really quick on and off. Just clip it over to get it off like that. So now it's off. To put it on, just simply get it up over there and position it and you're good to go. And that comes down. And then Lark's headed on to there. We have a whoopee hook suspension. Uh, and he created that too. It's got about a six, six or so inch berry right there. And then the titanium whoopee hook on there. And then it comes down and you've got the, uh, the hammock itself. Cool features on the hammock are the sewn in clips for the, uh, the hammock suspension or the under quilt suspension. And then you've got some Grogain loops that attach the 
same clip, these same quilt hooks are on the under quilt in positions that attach to and correspond to these loops. You've got the pullouts, of course the easy to grab and play with zippers, another quilt hook here. Just a great overall design. I, I really like that 1.7 Robic XL wide body. So I've been out here in my backyard for a little while now, playing with this tarp, playing with the different setups to try and figure out the best way to set it up. And I will tell you, I have figured a few things out. Number one, the height that I have this right now is too low. So I've got my posts, uh, my four by sixes here, and I've got it pretty much to the top. I had to go, because I've only got these about 13 feet apart, I couldn't get it tight enough between those two. So I had to go to fence posts over here. And because of the distance, it sagged quite a bit. So I would say that you're gonna have to go a good foot, foot and a half higher on a tree to get this to hang right. And here's why, the doors. So in order for these doors to actually close correctly and be tight, uh, you need the sides a little bit more up and down because these things slope in and so they've got to go down more. So in order to get this tight, it would have to be pulled down more uh, to create that tension along this side. And so the tarp's going to have to be higher to do that. So learn a little bit lesson learned there. Now you can see on this side, I have no pullouts on this side and it's a nice straight tarp. So I went ahead and I played with different ways to do the pullouts, but I had the pullouts on this side, pulling it out and towards the corners, as you can see here. So you can see how it's pulling it out. And what it does is it gives a whole lot more room on the outside. You can see the difference there between that straight down and that pulled out. And it really does, if we look inside, uh, it really does open up this side as a, compared to this side. Uh, but it does take some tweaking and restaking to keep all of the fabric tight. Now this may change if you get the tarp higher, uh, more towards where it needs to be. But this thing is just gigantic. Now because this tarp is so big, this is about as small as you're going to pack it down to. Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for joining me on this video and checking out all of this gear by Wahala Hammock and Outdoors. Thank you for being a part of this and I hope that you join me in supporting this great cause. We have seen time and time again, this community, community, this hammock community, come together to support our own, and that's one of the things that I've really grown to love about this community. You know, there will be discussions where, where someone gets a little bit bent out of shape about someone talking about or promoting one sort of hammock over another, but at the end of the day, we all go to the hangs, we hang out, we sit around the campfire, we have some drinks together, we have some laughs together, and the, the bonds are, are built and, and tied even tighter. Uh, I had several South Carolina vendors that were part of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and this is another chance for South Carolina vendors and hammockers to, to really support each other. And really, it's, it's the entire community, not just South Carolina. But going with that theme, I've helped Jason out with this video. And adding to this, this raffle, Terrapin Outfitters is throwing in a hatchling. And you guys saw me do my review on the hatchling. Great product. Uh, so that's going to be part of, of this giveaway again. So there's, there's so much that's going into this. Uh, I hope you guys are a part of it and I hope that you guys continue to support each other and this great community that we have. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Guys, I appreciate everything. Keep the comments coming, share the videos, get the word out there. If you haven't shared, liked, subscribed, do it now. Let me know that you like what I'm doing. Anyway guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys down the trail. Thanks.